All right, folks. So today we're going to be checking out three. Oh, I got to highlight this. Three digit subtraction with regrouping. That's right. We're doing three digit subtraction, not two, not one, but three digit subtraction with regrouping. Let's go ahead and do some examples. I'm going to start with 123 minus 456. I know everyone's going to hate me for this, but you're, you're going to love this by the end. So, um, Whoa, 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 what am I doing? I just did some uh, bogus math. Let's try that again. 129 minus 100, hmm, 100, 100, let's see. Oh, God, this is so hard. 118. Okay, let's try this out. How would you do this one? Well, turns out you don't need regrouping for this one. And why is that? Well, let's check it out. If I go ahead and copy this, Copy this, put it on my next line, put the minus 118 over here. Okay, make this a bit bigger. Erase that equal sign because I know I don't need it. And now let's do the math. Nine minus eight, well, you have nine in your head, right? You have nine in your head and you're gonna take up eight fingers. So let's take up eight fingers. Okay, let me, let me put this down. Let's try to put up eight fingers. So I got, uh, let's see. We got eight fingers here, eight fingers, yeah. So nine in my head, count down eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So nine minus eight is just gonna be one. Okay, next column, two minus one. You got two in your head, put up one finger, two, one. So two minus one is one. In my last column, I have one minus one. One minus one is just gonna be zero, right? So this is zero. So 129 minus 118 is just 11, 11. Cool, right? Let's do some more. 215 minus <clears throat> 119. How would I do this? So first thing I'm gonna do is just copy this, right? Just like we did before. Copy it, put the minus uh, 119 on the bottom and make it a bit bigger so I can actually do the math. Erase anything I don't need. Okay, now I'm ready to do the math. Okay, but how do I do the math here? I mean, look, here's the problem. How do I do five minus nine? Isn't that weird? But remember, we had this exact same problem before. Uh, we, we couldn't do like two minus eight because two is less than eight. We can't do five minus nine because five is less than nine. So what do we do? Well, we're gonna break this up. 215 is what? Well, it's 200 plus 15, right? Same thing on the bottom, 119 is what? 119, you see? And I can actually break up 15. 15 is just 10 plus five. So I'm gonna put 10 plus five. 19, that's just 10 plus nine. You see what I'm doing? You'll, you'll get the hang of it. And now I'm subtracting on the bottom. So let me put a subtraction signs here. Subtraction, not addition, but subtraction. Okay, let me put some minus signs here. Minus 10, minus nine. And now we can just start understanding what's going on. So five minus nine. Can I do five minus nine, folks? It's just too hard. I can't do five minus nine because five is less than nine. Nine can't take away all of five and then ask for more. I mean, that's just greedy. So what is five gonna do? Five, gonna, five is gonna ask his rich neighbor. Uh, 10 is not so rich, but he's nice, he's nice. He wants to help out five. So what is 10 gonna do? He's gonna let go. He's gonna reduce himself to nine and he's gonna give one of himself to five. Okay, so remember nine plus one is 10. 10 just got lowered down to nine. So that one remaining goes to five. So now we can do 15 minus nine. What's 15 minus nine? Well, 15 minus nine, I got 15 in my head, 
put up nine fingers, nine fingers, 15 in my head, right? Nine fingers. So count down 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, so hard. Six. So 15 minus 9 is 6. Now let's look at the next column. I have 9 minus 10. 9 minus 10. But we have the same problem, right? 9 is smaller than 10. How can I take away 10 from 9? So 9 is going to ask his rich neighbor. 200. Now that's pretty rich. Pretty rich. So here's what 200 is going to do. <clears throat> He's going to lower himself by 100. That, that's, that's lowering yourself by a lot. And he's going to give, he's going to give the, the other 100 that's left over to this 9. So this 9 will become 19. Okay. So now I can do 19 minus 10. If you look at this green box, 19 minus 10, what is that? So I have 19 in my head, 10 fingers, count down. So 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So 19 minus 10 is just 9. And my last column, I have 100 minus 100. Well, 100 minus 100, that's just 0. So 215 minus 119, that's going to give us a good 96. All right, let's do some more. Let's, let's do some more. Let's do a couple more examples. Okay, so let's say I have 115 minus 97. How am I going to do this one? So I'm going to take 115 minus 97, copy this thing, put it right here, put my minus 97 under my 115, and now put my bar, erase anything I don't need. Now we can do the math. But here you can see in my first column, I have 5 minus 7. But I cannot do 5 minus 7. 5 is less than 7. So I got to break this up, right? So 115 is the same as 100 plus 10 plus 5, right? You can check. Add them up, you'll get 115. Same thing with 97. 97 is just 90 plus 7. Don't forget your minus signs, folks. Now we can do the math. So what's 5 minus 7? Well, again, I can't do it. So I have to ask my rich neighbor. My rich neighbor for 5 is just 10. So 10 is going to say, okay, you can have all my money. 10 is going to go to 0. And he's going to give all his money, which is 10, to 5. Well, what's 10 plus 5? It's going to be 15. And now I can do 15 minus 7. What is 15 minus 7? Think about it while I draw this out. 15 minus 7. Let's do it. I have 15 in my head. I put up 7 fingers. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So 15 minus 7 is 8. Okay. Now in my next column, I have 0, 0 minus 90. Well, how? Well, now I got to ask my rich neighbor again. Who's zero's rich neighbor? It's 100. So zero is going to ask his neighbor. 100 is going to be very nice. He's going to say, you have all my money. Take my money. He's going to, 100 is going to go down to zero. And this zero here is going to become 10 because it gets that 100. So, sorry, it's going to become 100, uh, 100, right? So now we're going to have what? Since, uh, uh, since let me do that again, right? So we have zero. Zero is going to ask his rich neighbor 100. 100 is going to say, you can have all my money. He's going to go to zero. And 100 is going to be given to this guy. So now we have 100 minus 90 in this second row. So what's 100 minus 90? That's just going to be 10. So I'm going to have 10. Now, all I have to do, some simple math, right? Some simple math. What is 10 plus 8? That's going to give me my final answer of 18. Don't worry, guys, if this looks really complicated. I mess up sometimes. That's how hard it is. 
But if you do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of practice, you'll get the hang of it. Let's do some more. Let's say I have 158 minus 100, 139. So what's that gonna be? Well, let me first copy this, put it underneath, put the minus 139 under my 158, like that. Erase anything I don't need. And now let's do it column by column. My first column is eight minus nine. But how? Eight is smaller than nine. So I gotta break this up. 158 is the same as 100 plus 50 plus eight, okay? 139 is the same as 100 plus 30 plus nine. Now I'm gonna subtract them. Let's subtract them. So subtract this, I'm gonna subtract this, I'm gonna subtract this. So my first column here is eight minus nine, but eight is again smaller than nine. So how am I gonna do this? Well, eight is gonna ask his rich neighbor, 50. 50 is gonna drop by 10, so 50 will go to 40 and give that 10 to eight. So eight becomes 18. Now I can do 18 minus nine. Can you think what 18 minus nine is? Well, I got 18 in my head. I put up nine fingers. So count down, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. So 18 minus nine is nine. Next one, next row I have 40 minus 30. Well, thank God, 40 minus 30, that's just gonna be 10. And my last column, I have 100 minus 100, that's just zero. So zero plus 10 plus nine, is gonna give me my final answer of 19. So 158 minus 139 is just 19. Wow, now let's do some more. Let's, let's do some more. So I sound like the guy in, uh, in those cartoons. So uh, let's say I have 120 minus 109. How am I gonna do this? Wacky little piece of math, wacky math. So let's put this all the way up and now we can do it. Copy this line, put it under here, put the minus 109 under my 120, put my bar, erase anything I don't need. Look at my first column and what do I have here? I have zero minus nine. How can I do zero minus nine? Oh no, I'm going crazy, but I'm not, I'm not. I gotta expand these. 120 is the same as 100 plus 20. Oh, 100 plus 20 plus zero. 109 is the same as 100 plus zero plus nine. By the way, guys, you gotta learn how to expand. It really helps you out. So uh, because we're subtracting, I'm gonna put minus signs. So minus 100, minus zero, minus nine. Okay, now let's do the math. So my first column here, I have zero minus nine. How will I do that? Well, I gotta ask my rich neighbor. So who's my rich neighbor? Zero's rich neighbor is 20. So 20 is gonna say, okay, zero. Okay, you can have 10 of me. So 20 goes down to 10, the other 10 goes to zero. So 10 minus nine, over here, 10 minus nine is what? What's 10 minus nine? Well, I got 10 in my head, I have nine fingers. So, count down, right? 10 in my head, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, whoa, 10 minus nine is one. My next column I have, 10 minus zero, 10 minus zero. What's 10 minus zero? 10 minus zero is just 10. 
And my last column, I have 100 minus 100. That's just zero. So zero plus 10 plus one is equal to 11. So 120 minus 109 is equal to 11. All right, let's do some more. Let's say I have hmm, 208 minus 109. What's that gonna be? Well, I can copy this. I'm gonna paste it right here. I'm gonna put the 109 under my 208. And now we can get ready for the math. Erase what you don't need. And let's look at our first column. Eight minus nine. Heresy, you declare. I cannot do eight minus nine. Eight is less than nine. So we gotta break this up. Let's break it up. 208 is the same as 200 plus zero plus eight. 109 is the same as 100 plus zero plus nine. So I'm subtracting, so I'll put minus signs here. Minus, minus, minus. Okay, so my first column here is again, eight minus nine. How in the world, how in the world? Well, check it out. Eight is gonna ask his rich neighbor, zero. But zero's not rich. So if eight asks him for some money, zero has to ask his rich neighbor for some money, 200. So 200 is gonna say, okay, I'm gonna be nice, zero. I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks. So 200 is gonna go down to 100, and this zero here is gonna suddenly become rich. He's gonna become 100. And now, because he has 100, right? This, this guy's pretty rich. This guy's pretty rich. So he's gonna be able to give some of his money to the eight. So he's gonna say, okay, eight, I'll be nice. I'll give you 10 of my money. So 100 goes down to 90, and 10 goes up to 18. And now everybody's happy, everybody's happy. So now we have in my first column, I have 18 minus nine. So 18 minus nine, 18 in my head, nine fingers, nine fingers, nine fingers, 18 in my head, count down, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. So 18 minus nine is nine. Next column, I have 90 minus zero. Well, 90 minus zero, that's just 90. And my last column, I have 100 minus 100. Well, that's just zero. So zero plus 90 plus nine is 99. So 208 plus minus 109 is gonna be what? It's gonna be 99. All right, folks, let's do one more example, and I'll show you this time how fast this becomes when you, when you do it a lot of times. Look how fast you can do it. Let's say I have, I don't know, I'm just choosing random numbers here. Let's say I have 314 minus 239. Try to, if you can do it faster than me, that would be crazy. So I'm gonna take this up. I'm gonna take 314, copy it, put it down, I'm going to put the 239 under my 314. Whoa, that's weird. And I'll put the minus sign. I'll put my dash. And now I'm going to do my math. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to see how fast you can do it when you do it a lot of times? Well, 4 minus 9, 4 has to ask his rich neighbor. So he's going to ask his rich neighbor, which is 1. So one is gonna become zero and four is gonna become 14. So 14 and 14 minus nine is gonna be five. My next column, I have zero minus three. Zero will ask his rich neighbor, which is three. And three will say, okay, I'll be nice. I'll give you one of my money. And this zero will become 10. 10 minus three is just seven. In my last column, I have two minus two, zero. So 314 minus 239, 75. You don't need to put the zero, 75. See how fast it can become? Anyway, folks, thanks for watching this lecture of three-digit subtraction. 
with regrouping with me. I know this was extremely hard. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Um, any questions at all, leave them below. I'll get back at you. And uh, thanks for watching this lecture.